Rabbit Hole. A survivor's memoir of satanic ritual abuse is a gripping personal account by author David Scherter, shedding light on his harrowing experiences as a victim of abuse within a powerful satanic cult operating in 1980s Omaha, Nebraska. David courageously exposes the horrifying truth about his parents' involvement in this cult and their roles in perpetrating heinous crimes, including child sexual abuse, a pedophile ring, as well as unsolved child murders and kidnappings. In his memoir, Scherter delves deep into his own journey within this sinister community, revealing how the cult's abhorrent actions were not only tolerated but also concealed by influential figures in positions of authority. The memoir commences with an exploration of David's family, focusing particularly on his father, a notorious member of the infamous cult prevalent in Omaha during the tumultuous 1960s and 1970s. David unflinchingly recounts the traumas of his childhood, vividly describing the perilous environment created by his alcoholic and abusive parents, placing him and his older siblings in constant danger. He candidly unveils his motives for writing this memoir, which includes shedding light on the crimes committed by his father and his accomplices in the name of Satan, as well as embarking on a personal journey of healing and liberation from deep-seated wounds that remained concealed in his subconscious until he sought therapy as an adult. The cult, to which David's father belonged, was eventually exposed during the satanic panic of the 1980s a period, marked by sensationalized investigative journalism and media coverage that aimed to expose and confront satanic groups for their criminal activities, which were often obscured and shielded from scrutiny. David and his older siblings, along with numerous other innocent children, became victims of satanic ritual abuse, SRA. The cult, led by David's father, perpetrated countless acts of childhood sexual abuse, violence against minors, and the trafficking of children for sexual exploitation throughout Omaha during the 1960s, 1970s, and well into the 1980s. By recounting his own experiences and exposing the dark underbelly of this nefarious cult, David Scherter bravely unveils the atrocities committed against vulnerable children. His memoir serves as a testament to the resilience of survivors and a call to expose the truth, ultimately contributing to the collective effort to combat and prevent such heinous crimes from ever happening again. David's father's cult had disturbing ties to the local Franklin Credit Union, an institution led by a group of affluent individuals who shamefully funneled nearly $40 million into maintaining a pedophile ring in Omaha. As the bank's closure came in the 1980s, it took with it a multitude of secrets that David tirelessly investigates within the pages of his book. His ultimate goals are to provide closure to fellow victims and seek a measure of justice. With unwavering candor, David delves into the violent nature of his father, particularly when fueled by alcohol. He fearlessly confronts these topics, shedding light on the abhorrent atrocities committed by his father who tragically evaded justice by passing away before being held accountable for his actions. Through meticulous detail, David exposes the harrowing experiences he endured, illuminating the dark path that his father paved. David's personal journey to reconcile with his trauma has been a lifelong pursuit. Seeking solace from chronic nightmares, he sought therapy, eventually realizing that these haunting dreams were manifestations of the violence he witnessed and endured during his childhood. Motivated by his own healing and the desire to give voice to other Omaha children silently suffering from similar traumas, David embarked on a profound exploration of his own memories. As a survivor of satanic ritual abuse, SRA, David Scherter advocates passionately for child victims of sexual violence and human trafficking. In his memoir and work of investigative journalism, Rabbit Hole, David endeavors to unearth the truth behind his scandalous events at Franklin Credit Union and the presence of Satanism in his hometown of Omaha, Nebraska. Furthermore, he serves as an advocate for individuals grappling with severe post-traumatic stress disorder (PTSD), drawing from his personal experiences of healing from profound childhood trauma. David's dedication to supporting others is also exemplified through his role as the editor of Banquets for the Soul. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.